Hello, so you're very welcome back to Unstable TV. If this is your first time on the channel, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks. So we have got a lot of suggestions in. There's a lot of lists coming through. We're walking through them, guys, don't worry. But what are we working with today, Danielle? So we've done um, quite a lot of American videos recently. And one of the things that comes up a lot in the comment section is the price of healthcare in America to the price of healthcare in Europe. Yeah. Because Europe's healthcare is very good. And America's healthcare is not great. Exactly. So that's what we're going to be checking out today. So this is true cost of US healthcare shocks the British public. Ooh. Yep. Now, just a quick disclaimer, because I know it's not the Irish public they're doing it, but the British healthcare system and the Irish healthcare system, price-wise, I don't think they're too far off each other, aren't they not? No, not, not entirely different. Our one is a tiny bit better. There's not a huge gap between them. We haven't got all the facts on that, but the last time we have checked on a previous video, we did do it on the UK healthcare video. You can check that on the cards. Our healthcare and, and UK's healthcare, we're not too far off, no. but in terms of America's and Ireland's healthcare, wow, it's just took off into the... The stratosphere. So let's go and see just how broke the American people really are. Let's go. <laughs> ten grand for a baby. What's ten grand? Is there a price for that? Yes. Jeez. Uh, um, two hundred dollars. Two and a half grand. Eighty dollars. Six hundred. Two fifty. Jesus. What are these for? Fridge. More. <laughs> Three hundred pounds. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Yeah. Are you his medicine? Ambulance for what though? How much do you think that costs? Zero payment. Zero payment? Yeah, zero payment. No. It oh, costs two and a half thousand dollars. For, for real? An ambulance. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you look, you look. <laughs> An inhaler. For an ambulance. A hundred dollars. Yeah, you're pretty close. It's a bit more. 120. 250 to 350. For an inhaler? Mm. Yes. Are you an inhaler? So if you're poor, you're dead. I know that it's like yeah, public health care in the UK. In the US, fortunately, I'm able to get health care through my parents, their jobs, but like I carry an EpiPen. And I know that like the cost of that has just been rising. Mm -hmm. So like there's like very few companies that even compete. So it's sort of like a monopoly for the EpiPen. Um, even though like we have insurance, it costs my parents about a couple hundred, even with insurance. So two EpiPens. How much I do think you think it's unbelievable. $80. $600. $40. Afraid not. More? More? Hundred dollars. More. Hundred and fifty. More. Two fifty. More. Shh. Shut the fridge. More. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shut the pounds. fridge. Six hundred dollars. Yeah. What? Why? That's a very good question. <laughs> Six hundred dollars. Yeah. For me. Like. Why? America, what's going on? Like, I hope every person that works in healthcare there drives a Ferrari with the amount of money that's going into it. Well, what's the need for them extortionate prices? What about land of the free and, you know, look after your people, we're all... Like, what? So an ambulance is $2,500 over there. It's free to call out here. You have to pay for an overnight in the hospital, which is €100, Euro, but that's still a massive, massive difference. Because you don't have to pay it right there and then. No, like, you, you don't. Can still can pay it in installments as well yeah you'd be better off getting a flintstone car over in america and bringing yourself there you would be better off just getting pushed on a shopping cart two and a half for EpiPens as well the price like that's insane right we'll get back to it i was shocked already so we're already broke yeah we're we've we've basically died here already no seriously like no wonder people don't ring ambulances over in america yeah, don't blame them. You literally kick the phone out of their hands like, no, I'll bring you. <laughs> I'll carry you. That'll be cheaper. <laughs> it's more like just hives and shortness of breath. Yeah. So it wouldn't be like an immediate death situation. But like, so I've been fortunate. I've not had to use it. Mm. But it's something like keep on me. Like I have my backpack right now. I have it on me. Cost of childbirth. Jesus. Um, 50 grand, something ridiculous now. Yeah, see, I've, been, I've, blown, I've blown the figures up on your head now, haven't yeah, I? Because yeah. they're larger. It's The highest, generally speaking, is about 30 grand. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, I oh, is that reasonable? You have not reasonable at all. <laughs> 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 it's just no, like now on, like, uh, on yeah, a benchmark. Yeah, 100? 200? Dollars. Yeah. 200? 200? Uh, the average is about 10 grand. It can go up to 30,000. 10 grand! 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 
hand for a baby. Well, yeah, well, no, no, really. how much is your child worth? <laughs> yeah. Well, is that like the same everywhere? No, the average is about ten thousand dollars. Yeah. That's mad. Oh no, thanks. <laughs> um, okay, no thanks. In which case, the coil, IUD, contraception. Yeah. How much do you think that costs? For one person yeah. to uh, implant. Uh, a grand. Yeah, a little bit higher. Really? Yeah, one thousand three hundred dollars. Oh. It's like 80 euro over here. I wonder if you could tell me how expensive you think calling an ambulance out to your location is in America. I guess it depends on like where you live. Uh, it really does. Um, I deal with those. Is no, there a price for that? Yes. But it's still like expensive. Um, $100? Exactly. Is there a price for it? Yeah, yeah. For what? Why? Why? Give birth by C-section. Yeah. And you is would like to hold your baby. Given no, seriously. You've given birth to it. Actually, you yeah, have to hold you, do. Name. <laughs> yeah. you have to pay to do that. Yes. To hold my own child that I've been carrying inside of my womb. <laughs> you were literally crying it. You have to pay the whole. Yes. Jeez. <sighs> it's not actually that expensive. Right. <laughs> Charging me. I'm going to punch you. Yeah. Um, not you, but. No, literally. Yeah, you was. Like a hundred dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. For skin on skin contact. <laughs> What do you think of the NHS? Literally, the gift that keeps on giving. Literally. Literally. People are so dumb for taking advantage of it. Mm. And I don't want it to change. Finally, does it make you grateful for the NHS? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I didn't know how much uh, free yeah, healthcare we yeah. got, like, just off the bat. But, like, knowing you have to pay, like, 30 grand for a child, it's outrageous. It really is ridiculous. So thank you, NHS, um, for your hard work. I'm genuinely speechless. Presumably you had an idea that it, healthcare was expensive in the US. I didn't realise how expensive. Yeah, I'm just like... What? Like, if you don't have money, you're... Well, you have to you're fudged, money. yeah. What do you think of the people who are yeah, profiting afford? off yeah. the sale of these medicines? You bastards. <laughs> I... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> beep. I think... Yeah, I, th I think they should be... But she's not wrong. Fuck Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was him before Trump. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't him that started it. No, that was a bit wild. America's healthcare has like always been outrageous. American dream, is it? What the dream to raid your pockets, is it? I think the worst one there. No, I knew about this already. That you have to pay for skin on skin contact after you have your baby. What are you supposed to do? Just not hold your child until you leave the hospital. Do you know what I mean? What's like? What's that emotional? Is that being? Well, emotionally torturing you unless you pay. Yeah, it's, it's weird. But 30 grand to have a baby anyway is weird. What are you paying for exactly? You're making the baby. They should pay you for using their service. Make the place popular. I know a lot of Americans will be like, oh, the money goes for us, this, 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 and this. But there's a lot better healthcare systems around the world that don't charge even half of what America charge. So it's not because they're spending more money on it that it's better. But the sounds of all the uh, lovely stories out of America about their healthcare system, uh, that money doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot for it. No. Sort your healthcare system out because that's disgraceful. The poor people in America, like that's horrible. So if you if you can't afford it, you're just left. But what? Because I hear the insurance doesn't even take that much off though. So yeah. does the insurance? We have to do a video on the insurance as well. We did beforehand, but it was the differences between. The insurances in America and different parts of the world. But how much does the insurance in America actually take off the stuff? Is it even worth it? Because it honestly doesn't seem like it, does it? No, but it sounds like no, it doesn't. But let us know in the comments. Like, even anyone that has their own personal experience in yeah. America, if you want to share your story in the comments, please do. We want to hear from. It's one thing watching these videos on it, but we want to hear from you, the people yourself. We yeah. want to hear what the people have to say about this. Let us know in them comments and anyone else from around the world. What do you think of this? Are you grateful for your healthcare mm -hmm. now? What do you think? Because we certainly are here in Ireland. No, after hearing that. Or, you know, if you've been to America or if you're American and you've been to anywhere else in the world and you've unfortunately became ill when you were there, what what's the difference is like between them two that you can tell us? So it's been our two cents and we will chop ourselves out as healthcare. <laughs>